Well, today is the day, guys. It is bittersweet. I'm heading back to the States. But first, I just want to sh uh, share and introduce you guys to Brad Janiszewski, a.k.a. Campground Host. So, I just want to thank you for your hospitality. Thanks, Jack. And thanks, yeah, likewise. And thank you for taking me to the races and get me behind the wheel. That was the first time. So, that was fun. You are an incredible individual, and I, I sincerely mean that. I'm glad you had a good time here, and uh, I'm glad you enjoyed Canada. All right, thank you. Goodbyes is here. I gotta say goodbye to the man who helped me realize a dream here. The ultimate. It's a lot of fun. The ultimate diesel mechanic. No, on... I'm just <laughs> so here, bring it in. Bring it in for a hug. Okay. You were the no, man. It was a lot of fun. So, yeah. A lot of stuff out there that's not being told, but yeah. we figured it out. Just took a little while, but we got her. Yep. It runs pretty good too. Yeah, it does. So, it's it, gonna be way if anybody wants a meat badge, he's most likely going to be at Enigmatic yeah, Nomadic's be. Van Build Party or Build Party uh, the whole entire month of November outside of Parker. Uh, if you want a, something fixed on your vehicle, you're on a budget, if you just want to hang out, I'll be there probably the better part of the month. Yeah, he's well, going to be there. Then we'll go to Ehrenberg. So. Yep. Ehrenberg, so. three miles south of uh, the Flying J on the east side, not the west, no, not the west side. Yeah, the down, side. down the dirt road. Down the so. dead end road. Yep. So, anyways. It's a polar road. Yep. So, we'll, we'll, I'll catch him in three months, I think. Three or four months. Yeah, probably. Reunited. In October, so. And I'll, I'll try not to break the bus in that time. <laughs> well, you know how to fix it now. I do, I do. And if I forget anything, I can always watch over the previous videos and stuff because we have all that. <laughs> Even that's though you were good, doing all the wrenching. That's a good thing about having the videos. What do you do? I see it. Well, I can't wrench and hold the camera at the yeah. same time. So no, uh, it was. thanks for teaching me everything and right. for your patience. It'll so. Be good. It was and worth it. Elle is unfortunately a little yeah, under the weather. Feeling, so. I don't know. She got a bug or something. Yeah. So Elle, but. thanks for all the uh, meals and breakfasts and dinners and uh, good times. So yeah. we'll see you guys on the road soon. We will. Just making the rounds here. Steve at Metalheads, by the way, great guy. Um, he's like, you know, before you, leave, before you leave town, you know, stop by and this and that. So I, I just stopped in and said hi real quick. And uh, he said, oh, come up next summer. I'll donate some materials and, you know, we'll build you another storage tank or something like that for the oil. And he was, like, tripping out. One, how quiet the bus now is in the engine. Um, and two... He liked the smell of the uh, the fryer oil out the back, said it was sweet, so he was tripping out. So thanks for the offer, Steve. It's very kind of you, and uh, it's a very good chance I'll see you next summer. Okay. I'm back at Provincial Powertrain. Um, the reason being is that, let me just show you guys. Oh, you see this door? This actually is really nice. This is a diesel side. I want to get one like that and put it on the veggie side. For some reason I didn't, didn't grab that. Oh, also, uh, one of these uh, little lights broke off on the top and the back one, the red one. So I'll grab one of those, grab some other stuff. Eeyore, super rad, was just like, yep, grab anything you want before I crush them. <laughs> so I could grab anything from a light to, I don't need any of that stuff. But basically I can just pick through and take some stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm going to leave you guys here because I've already showed you guys the yard before. Um, and I don't want to... I'm trying to get out of Canada today. So, you know, it's going to work hard. Alright, under that DeWalt uh, drill bit set is a door. It wasn't a school bus door. It was off of a semi-truck. But I figure something is better than nothing because I couldn't find one. Also find a, I found a marker light. And then this thing that goes inside the uh, gas tank so the gas cap doesn't fall out. That's a nice, I guess, I could have just bent some metal and figure that out. Update. So, I'm in Edmonton, heading to Calgary. South of Calgary is uh, Great Falls, Montana south of that if you keep going down to Salt Lake City. So I need to go east. Chris, over at uh, Colorado Custom Coachworks, I think if that's, if I have that name correctly, you'll meet him in a few days. 
Uh, he is generously letting us use his shop for free in Denver, and that's where we're going to finish up the build. Um, I don't know what he has, but he has something in South Dakota, so he asked me if I'd go pick it up, and I said, absolutely. Uh, if somebody, you know, helps me out, you know, I, I definitely am going to help them out in return. Uh, that's how I roll. That's the kind of program I'm running here. So, uh, I don't know where exactly I'll end up today. I'm hoping to cross the border. No rush, but uh, I, 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 I'm ready for Wi-Fi. <laughs> I'm ready for my unlimited hotspot. Uh, so, without further ado, let's hit the road. I was driving along, and I realized, I just happened to glance up. I realized something's going on with the panels. What happened was, we didn't properly secure the bolt to the panel. Didn't properly tighten them, and they loosened out, they wiggled out. So, luckily I stopped by to say hi to Rocky <coughs> over at the welding place. Uh, red line and uh, there's a uh, Greg distributors down the way which has it it's kind of like Home Depot with your own private tutor so I'm gonna go inside get the proper bolts and then uh, put them back on <laughs> thank God they didn't fall off oh my god that would have been nuts didn't even have them set up yet so that goes into the stupid files but just goes to show you if you're not <laughs> if you don't double check some of your work uh, you know it's real easy to make a mistake here we go, casualty avoided. This <laughs> the grand total of all of this was one dollar twenty cents Canadian, which is exactly one dollar US. My goodness. Alright, I'm gonna go strap that on. Great news! Disaster was avoided. I did not want to join the lost solar panel club. I don't even know if I would have seen a playoff because I don't have a rear view mirror. And, uh, so, yeah. And also, I was talking to a guy over at, uh, uh, uh Redline, uh, welding fabrication. And, uh, of course, everybody's interested in the veggie, the veggie oil system. And so while I was getting the replacement parts for the panel, bolts, really, I picked up a fuel filter for my, uh, pump. And, uh, Rocky said, oh, hey, you know the guy you met? Yeah, he's got 45 gallons of uh, cooking oil canola that he used for fried chicken. So now I'm heading back, and there's a really good possibility I'm getting 45 gallons, which is about 400 miles for free. So, how about them potatoes? Some minutes later, I'm over at Grant's property. Grant uh, kindly offered me his oil, which is in that little canister, this uh, tank right there. So we're gonna get to pumping, and uh, we're gonna pump some of this other stuff I got from uh, from the pizza place. All right, so oil gets super messy, so obviously I'm not gonna get my dirty ass paws all over my uh, really nice camera. But uh, long story short, we uh, soiled with oil the whole grass here. This thing had a little bit too much saturated fat. It was clogging up the filter. Here, let me show, just show you guys some residue. This this is what came out of the filter I got. So it's a really good thing that I did buy the filter because otherwise that would have clogged up something in the engine. It would have made me very unhappy. But uh, thank you for, uh, uh, A for effort. No problem. Thank you for the offer of the oil and um, this is my first time pumping oil out of a mysterious container. Now I know what can happen. Uh, but I did fill up with the rest of the stuff from the pizza place. So without further ado, let's hit the road. <laughs> no more than a couple minutes of leaving did I run into something absolutely hilarious. I ran into a pot farm. Look at this, unbelievable. Well, not exactly pot, I think this is hemp. There is a difference if you didn't know. Um, look at this, this is unbelievable. I'm not really sure why, well, I guess I can assume. 
hemp, hemp seeds, hemp fiber. Look at this stuff though, I feel like I'm in Jamaica. This is hilarious. So yeah, I just happened to look over to the side and I'm like, does that, is that, wow, oh my gosh, it sure is. Um, very interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff here. So, that's a male. And that's the female. So, what they're about, uh, eh, thigh high. This one's waist high. Let's give it a nice little smell here. Yeah, this is not the stuff that is uh, legalized on the west coast in the United States. This is a little bit different stuff here. Hilarious though, huh? Never know what you'll find when you drive around and keep your eyes open. It's the next day. <sighs> Today was rather hot. It was also rather uneventful. I have this unnecessary fear of crossing the border. And I don't know why. <laughs> so much so that I returned a bunch of stuff. So that when I crossed, I wouldn't have a long list of things that I'm bringing over. I also made a list on my phone to be prepared to tell the guy what I'm bringing back. But once he saw the bus, he's like, what's the story on this beast? And then the conversation, you know, went a different route. Basically didn't ask me anything. So anyways, here we are. 94 degrees, Montana. Doesn't it get like negative 94 degrees in Montana? The temperature swings up in the higher latitudes is just so bizarre to me. I'm used to weather, well, I grew up in Southern California by the ocean, so anywhere from mid 40s to like 90s. I feel like that's pretty normal, but I have like a 100 plus degree swing out here and it's really bizarre and hot and uncomfortable. I'm eating a Canadian corn tortilla and I don't recommend it. Mm -hmm. 